welcome back to the channel this time the voiceover is gonna be with my student Cole so he's my student from white belt to purple belt and then he moved it away so now he's visiting so let's take a look a lot of action a lot of lasso a lot of movement so make sure you take a look I right away I started the collar drop into an ankle pick position but Cole is the type of guy that he doesn't accept the fight easy so he keeps fighting for life to don't get take down I let it go and then I pull guard end up with an open guard scenario right there immediately called dive into an over on the scenario so take a quick look right here I kept him move away so I keep using my foot to hip escape because if I stop it that's when he gets a position I keep hip escape placing my foot on the mat that's a good way to stop over under I block his hip immediately he keep diving so let's take a quick look in a slow motion I block his hip by the belt keep a stiff arm right there now use his momentum so trying to stiff arm come all the way up the trick he is come up don't let the person pin the your shoulder down so i post my my arms on the mat and then i'll be able to get you a half guard right there so keep in mind right here every time someone wants to pass a guard they need to cross head so immediately i put his head on the same side of his legs connecting my hands on the belt at this point, I have his right hands holding right there, as you guys can see, between his leg. Now, I place my hook in and I start lifting. So, Cole doing a good job posting on his far foot. I try to knock the base down, but he landed on his knees solid, so he couldn't get. So, immediately, I realized that I could not get the um, butterfly sweep. I decided to transition for the axe guard. So I pop my head out, pushing his cross face away. Now I end up in a full X guard right here, clear position. So use one idea. If you don't get, transition to the other without losing the control. So that's what I did right here. And then from here, I come up using the momentum. And then he decided to spin out. So I got to establish the point. And then from here, he decided to play like open guard, controlling my color. So he could control my sleeve, but I'm not letting him. So he goes kind of like a, trying to chase that one leg X. And then he eventually got him. And then he has my my leg right there. And then he trying to chase my collar. So he should use his right foot to knock him out, knock me out, make sure he pulls my hands in the mat. And he decided to come up, but I push my leg into him. So he went for a knee ball right there, so I kept using my hands to keep his knee open. So this is a good detail right here. If you want to avoid someone from knee ball you, don't let they spin over your knee. So keep his uh, hip down as I'm pushing. I highlight it right here. You guys are going to see a lot of these highlights. Um, I want to focus on a small detail for you guys. So we decided to spin around, and I did a back step. He lost my leg, and I broke up. I come up. He decided to get under me, so I keep a good base right here. He tried to put a De La Riva hook. He could use uh, uh, to knock me down, but he didn't. So I placed De La Riva hook right there. So if he doesn't do anything, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to dive to a cross face very low to try avoid him to get under me. Now I'm going to block my... I use my hands to block his leg, and I free my legs, trying to pass the guard. And he turned to a turtle position, so I secure the seat belt. So let's see what can get from here. And then I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start digging my right hands into the collar grip with my left hand on the far side and block his arm. And by this point, I think I got the collar, so I'm gonna start blocking the forearm. So I keep posting away, so I'm gonna use my right foot to trap him as a crucifix. I start invest into a crucifix in there and then he hold his own leg helps me turn into a, a, a crucifix in there so I hook his arm and then I'm gonna roll over so you're gonna see a lot of this stint replay so just so you guys take your time and learn the small detail okay so make sure you don't miss any action it's got a lot of good details I had this video for you guys so make sure you stick around there's a ton of details 
and then end up on a curse fix the small tip that i want to show you guys here is i have the choke so i recommend you guys not squeeze the choke 100 percent once so i recommend you guys hold 80 percent forever so by this time I block the trick of this, the detail of the choke is I block my shoulder behind his head and I kept very tight for a long period of time. And then I just kept looking at his face. He keep getting red, getting red. And then eventually he taps. So it's a very small detail on the choke. Crucifix, lock your shoulder behind the head. Then you're gonna get a tap. We back up standing. I sit guard, trying to engage my guard went for the leg but he kept going around so i blocked the hip bring my leg around and recover my guard he went for a kind of like a over a uh, uh, stack pass but i i didn't let him get farther down now i'm gonna i have the underhook i'm gonna get overhook secure his foot i could invest to a foot lock but i didn't so now i'm gonna knock him down blocking so this sweep i learned from my professor marcelo is really good so as you guys can see i wrap the foot now I'm gonna go for the uh, single leg axe, but he pushes my leg from his hip away. Now I use that foot to knock the far leg, and I use my right hand and knee to pin his hip down and come up with a sweep. Guys, please, if you're enjoying the channel, if you're enjoying this voiceover, please comment to see. Uh, 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 I wanna see if you guys like it, okay? So thank you for sticking around. I appreciate all your support as usual, okay? So I appreciate you guys. We end up in a fifth fifth scenario. He wants my knee, so I kept pushing, keep his leg away, squared up my hip, and then he decided to let go of my leg. We stood up, and then we back up, standing, and I look at the time halfway past. This video was ten minute video with a lot of details. He pull guard. I kept pull. I bring him off the mat, make sure he doesn't get stronger, and then he tried to go for the body lock right there, and then. I saw an opportunity for the foot, for the uh, 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 hooking his leg to take him down. I forgot the name for the takedown, I'm sorry. And I think it's Coach Gary or Coach Gary, something like that. So I know you guys are gonna comment and say, oh, Mark doesn't know the name. So I do, but I forgot. So I don't wanna lose folks on the voiceover right now. So I decided to pull guard, same side sleeve and uh, on the arm and the leg. I try to get the lasso, I let go of the leg and he's fall down. So I use that, I couldn't come up and then back into a lasso scenario. So take a quick look on this one guys. So I kept the lasso hooking the far leg with my right leg and I have the lasso right there. So he's on his knees, right? So I'm gonna keep eyes on his base. So I saw his hands and I baited the wrist lock. I couldn't invest longer, but I just, I, I pointed out so you guys can see it. that's nasty uh, uh, wrist lock right there. Now I'm gonna try chase the same side lasso, the leg, right? So now I'm gonna go spin around. I could go for the omoplata or keep going for triangle. But I decided to hang it right there to see what I can come up with. And then he pulled the grip, I lost the lasso guard, the lasso leg, the lasso arm, right? And then I kept my shallow de la Hive right there. And grab the collar. Kept pushing my way and I kept the ankle the whole time and then eventually I got back the the sleeves. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go to a reverse lasso and then force him to spin around and go for the arm bar right there. So let's take a quick look. Slow motion. I have the ankle, right? I kept pushing far leg to create an angle. So I'm gonna place my Dela Hiva hook deep right there to keep him off balance, force him to bend on the knees. Now I'm gonna use my right foot to do a reverse lasso. So look, that's not, uh, you don't see this very common, it's very strong position, I like that a lot. I get my lasso deep, now I'm gonna let go of the foot, force him to spin because that's the only option that he has right there. I pound my leg back in and then I go for double grip on the wrist and end up with a umbo right there. And then he keep pushing my leg, keep doing a good job. All he needs to do is bridge over my leg to block the umbar. But and then I bring my leg around and I finish with a, a tight umbar right there. Very nasty. You guys should be uh, uh, studied that one. Maybe I'll do a breakdown in that one for you guys. That's very, very good. The reverse last so you guys can study deep. 
So please, guys, don't forget to subscribe, share the video, and comment if you guys are enjoying this voiceover. I really need your support on that one. So make sure you comment if you want me to keep doing this. I really, you guys, I need you guys' opinion. So back up, I pull guard, and then I get the sleeves, and once again, get the same side ankle. It's really good shutting down his right hand, his right side. I place the lasso, spin around, and I keep in mind right here, I'm trying to put my right knee behind his knees, a really, really good strong position. I used that variation on a nine world, mass world 2019 finals. So look, I have the lasso spin under, get my right knee behind his knees. So really good. Maybe I will break down for you guys, but comment if you guys wanted to see the reverse last and this last variation right here. If you guys wanted to see, I will do a breakdown for you guys slowly and some more details for you guys to learn that. So I get under and then it's hard for him to stay up. I open my lasso and knock him down, take his foot off the ground. Really, really strong position. You guys would love to, to practice that. So by the time he locked the figure four, but I have, I took my lasso out and then I just have to come up. By this point, I can let go the, the sleeves and come up. So look, I have kind of like leg drags in there, push his leg away, come up. It's really, really strong, guys. Trust me, it's really strong. Lasso sweep. He came up in a third position. I could go for the headlock, like a cowboy choke right there, but for somehow, for somehow I was tired. And uh, he decided to pull guard. I kept my leg away, keep his legs front closing the half guard and I will end up right here and then keep his arm right there so I get the underhook step over when I step over it's hard for him to keep turning to me so I force him to turn go down so I got to a mount position right here and then keep pounding my leg jumping back step don't let him engage guard I stood up he tried to do a collar drag right there but it didn't work didn't work really well he end up on a on a one leg axe. As you guys can see, he has a, like a very potential strong one leg axe, so he should be fast on that. He'll always tangle up on my legs. So if he's smart, he should invest on this game. It's really good for him. So we go for the over over hook one leg axe right there, and then he grabbed my pants, a really strong position to sweep, but he couldn't establish, so he could let go. My leg come up. And then from here, he decided to go for the axe guard. He come up and then I keep having base on my hands and then I kick my leg out. So look, he come up, he pulls his right hands on the mat, right? Now I use my free foot to kick and free my leg. It's a really strong detail right there. Anticipating the sweep. We came up, we st stood up, stand right there, keep my head position in front so I know he likes to shoot for legs also. He practiced a lot of wrestling so he knows that as you guys can see, he always go for my leg. So I kept heavy right there, sprawl, and he pulls guard, right? So he decided to give up on a takedown and start pulling guard right there, half guard. I tried to go for mount, but he stood up. So Cole is a very scramble guy. Once again, he dive into the one-leg axe. So he goes there, trap my foot. I kind of bait a, a steamer lock, but I didn't win, hop through it. So he kept foot on my hip, one leg axe. So he kept trying to look for my far leg. He knocked me down, and this time he got a sweep. That was good. So he went for it, kind of like he started set up an over under. Right away, I block his elbow. So since he's tired of me, when he pushes, I block his elbow, as you guys can see, and I just open my knee out, and he has to go because my leg is over his shoulder because I'm holding his elbow. Very trick, very sneaky sweep from there. I come up. And then from here, I try to keep weight on him. He decides to sit, go for the De La Riva hook. And once again, I melt it right there. So this is one of my favorite passes also when I knock him, um, block his elbow, block, use my elbow to block. So this is also I learned from Marcelo. It's one of Marcelo's favorite passes. When he blocks your elbow, lean right over the elbow, post on a hip so the person cannot get under you. I stay heavy, place my arm behind his back right there, can be in a belt or on the gi. And then I use my elbow and knee to block his legs, push his leg out, and then I use my free legs to kick his bottom leg and disconnect in the half guard. So as you guys are gonna see, I push down 
and then I get a pass right there. So I kick, take my leg out of the half guard, and then end up right here. You could go to mount right there, but his leg was close to me. I didn't want to get trapped on the half guard. So I end up go right there to his arm. Now I have to do is just step over and go for umbar right there. So I stay heavy and spin to the umbar. Grab the sleeve, spin under. So guys, this video is about to end. Thank you for sticking around. There's a lot of details right there, but I'm doing my best to bring the best quality for you guys. So please, if you like to see more of this breakdown, comment the video, subscribe and share the video with a friend. So that's the best way for us to continue and grow the channel. So I appreciate your support. So thank you so much. Okay, so I uh, hope you guys enjoying this voiceover. I'm gonna do a lot more. I'm doing my best. More I do, more I learn. So forgive me if I did something wrong, but I'm trying my best, the best intention to help you guys grow your jiu-jitsu the best way possible. Okay, so please go, go easy on me and I'm doing my best to help you guys. So thank you so much.